Bano, we're well and truly into the pre-season now. How are you guys finding it out on the track? Yeah, really cool. Uh, everyone's come back from last season feeling really good and fresh. Uh, the carryover is probably a bit easier with our strength and conditioning side of it, but no, nah, everyone's ready to go and hopefully win a premiership this year. And what's the schedule like for the pre-season this time around? A uh, little bit more, a uh, little bit heavier than last season. We've got um, Monday morning uh, uppers and skills and then Tuesdays are a pretty big hit out. Um, gym, proper training um, and some conditioning and then similar with Thursday afternoons um, and then Saturday's our performance day, some more match sim and yeah, lots of running. <laughs> Season six wasn't that long ago. How's the mentality among the group having had such a quick turnaround? Yeah, I think it's been a little bit uh, hard for a few of the girls, just um, a bit tired, uh, not having too much of a break, but it's been pretty easy just to be able to carry over um, from last season, like I said, with conditioning and some fitness as well. So I think everyone's just ready to go and they're just treating it like an extra long season. It's super different. Um, from the summer. You can't catch, you can't feel your hands, so you can't catch the ball. It's very slippery, but um, I mean, everyone's pretty much getting used to it already. Um, but I think last season it was summer and I was wearing a long sleeve. So this season it's winter and I'm trying to triple up on layers. It's, yeah, not fun. <laughs> Do you guys feel extra hungry having made it to the grand final and wanting that one step further? Oh, definitely. I think when you lose a grand final, you just, you want to prove to everyone that you, you're still good enough and you can still do it. So it just adds fuel to the fire. And how are you feeling heading into this pre-season? Really excited. I'm ready just to get back out on the field and start using my speed again. Just continuing to throw myself at it, um, keep up my confidence and build some more strength as well to hold my own on the field. But yeah, just c carry over my consistency would be a big one. You've been working with the community team at Melbourne. You've just come back from a trip to the Northern Territory. How was that for you? That was incredible. Words can't even describe how good the experience was. Uh, just being able to see what it's like over there with their communities and how different it is to what we have here in, in a big city was like second to none. It was amazing. For those who aren't aware, what were you heading up there to do in those communities? Uh, so pretty much uh, Fitzy and I were over with the community team just to visit um, some of the local remote communities. Uh, Nirupi and Yundamu were two big ones that we went to. Um, and it was just to go and see all the kids and all the families and introduce our ourselves and just kick a footy, really have some fun and yeah, get to know everyone. And lastly, what are you most looking forward to heading into season seven? I'm just super excited to be able to play with everyone again. We've brought on some new people. Um, Charlotte Wilson and Jordan Ivy, and it's just going to be so amazing to be able to play alongside them. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you out on the track. Thank you.